I grew up in Florida. Um, both my parents are readers, actually, but, but there were no artists in my family. Um, and I was a very poor student. I struggled a lot in school, both socially and academically. Um, and, you know, I was totally the kid that my parents had to just drag through summer reading and really any sort of academic stuff. Um, in terms of what I was interested in, um, I was inter always interested in animals. Um, we had a lot of pets and some of them very, quite exciting actually. I had a pet wolf as a child um, in suburban Florida. Who would have thought that such a thing was possible, but I'm here to tell you that it was. Um, and I was interested in, I was outside a lot. And when I got older, when I was a teenager, I was really interested in hanging out in malls and in smoking cigarettes in parking lots and trying to talk to boys. And also grunge too. I was really interested in grunge. I read everything about Kurt Cobain after his death that there was to read um, and wanted to be like the, the, you know, a member of Bikini Kill and my parents were worried. Um, so those were my, those were my interests, um, not particularly, uh, you know, again, not particularly academic or literary in nature. Um, I also, my sister and I had um, this babysitter who read the, the tabloids religiously every week and then she would throw them away. And so I would always fish them out of the trash and read them. I mean, I knew my parents would not have approved of us reading the tabloids and I, but I would like lock myself in the bathroom and read them. And I was just enthralled by that sort of strange twisted, you know, take on the world. Um, so, but I, you know, I really didn't know what I wanted to do in life or what I wanted to do with myself or what I should be doing or could be doing. And so I just kind of drifted um, through high school. I actually didn't finish high school and got a GED and then went to night school for college. And I was in my first, maybe like at the end of my first year and I was doing, going into my sophomore year and I was doing really poorly and was actually on the edge of being kicked out because my GPA was so bad. Um, and can still viscerally remember looking, you know, this is before it was all online when we still had a hard copy course catalog and I was like, okay, what is the easiest class imaginable? The class that would take no work, no skill, not very much thought. And then came upon fiction workshop. And I teach, so I have those students now who are, and they're like, what, we have to, what is all this stuff we're reading? What is all this work we're doing? And I'm like, oh, you're, that's me coming back to myself. That's karma is what you are. And um, so I, under, for, for those reasons, I enrolled in a fiction workshop um, and it was a totally transformative experience. Um, I had really never read contemporary fiction. I don't think I'd ever read a short story before. Um, maybe like A&P in high school or some, some, something like that. But, but really, um, I'd read virtually no contemporary fiction and it totally pivoted my view of literature. Um, it was the first time that literature felt personal, relevant, urgent. I think um, it definitely assuaged some sort of deep inner loneliness to be inhabiting the skins of these other characters. And, you know, I didn't have any notion then that to write fiction was a thing that someone could do with their life, but I felt very much like I just want to stay in this, whatever this is. And so that really was, it was a huge um, shift for me.